How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at formatting dates and times in JavaScript without the need for an external library or package. So this here is going to be perfect for those situations where you just want to get something working and displaying on your web page. So the way it's going to work is we're going to have a formatter object. This object contains the rules as to how your dates and times should be formatted. As an example, you may want to display a short date or a long date, or maybe you want to include the time part or exclude it. Maybe you want 12 hour time or 24 hour time. So these options are gonna be provided to your formatter object. And then you say, let's format this particular date to these rules, okay? So I've got a date object right here stored in this timestamp uh, variable or constant. And I'm sure most, if not all of you have seen this date object before in JavaScript. And I'm simply passing through an ISO timestamp giving us the 26th of May, 2024. So let's format this date. We'll say const formatter equal to a new capital I lowercase ntl, so international, dot date time format, okay? Then we're gonna pass through here a locale because the locale dictates how certain things should be displayed. As an example, in Australia, we say date, or sorry, day, month, year, and the US will say month, day, year, right? When it's formatted. So we're gonna say here, en-au, okay, we'll compare it shortly, but for now, let's console.log what this looks like. We're gonna say formatter.format, then pass through here the timestamp. So again, we have the set of rules in the formatter, then we're saying let's format this date according to these rules, save this, go in the browser here, refresh, and we get 26th of the 5th, 2024. So again, we have day, month, year. In the US, it's gonna be month, day, year instead. So let's prove that. Let's say en-us, save this, back in here, refresh. Now, of course, we get the month, then the day, then the year. So things like that is gonna be what your locale determines. And you can find a whole list of locales by simply Googling locale list. And you should find something like this for you to choose uh, depending on your user or where you are, okay? Now, let's explore more of the options, things like your short dates and long dates, etc. I might change this back to AU, okay? And now let's provide a second argument, a list of options, all right? We're gonna say, date style is equal to full, all right? I'll save this, go back in the browser here. We previously got the short date, so just the month, the day, and the year. I refresh now, we get the full day, okay? So these are your options when it comes to how it should be formatted. If you like, you can press control and space in VS Code to get a list of your uh, options here. I think on Mac, it's gonna be command space. Hopefully I was right about that. But we can also do things like, for example, time style, okay? Let's say time style is equal to uh, medium, all right? Because currently there's no time being displayed, right? So if I was to save this, go back in the browser, refresh, we get 2.35 p.m. Now, the timestamp provided says 4.35 a.m. This is in UTC, okay? I'm in Australia, so our time zone is offset by 10 or 11 hours, okay? Which is why we get 2.25 p.m. as opposed to that 4 a.m., okay? Speaking of uh, time zones, you can also provide that to these options. So you can say here, uh, time zone equal to and I might change it to say, for example, Canada slash central. There we go. We'll try this, save it back in the browser, refresh, and we get the time in uh, in central Canada time zone. So, so there you go. You can also see that 
it has reduced the day by one, of course, making up for that time zone difference. Now, of course, this only works because the date object is a timestamp. It's a point in time, which means there is time zone information associated with it. Okay. Now, one last thing to mention here that I want to point out is going to be your, you know, your, your 12 hour time or your uh, 24 hour time. So you can say, for example, hour 12 equal to false here. And what you'll see is it's going to convert this 12 hour time into your uh, 24 hour time. I'll save this and go back in the browser, refresh. And we do in fact get the 24 hour time for, uh, for, that, uh, for that timestamp there. So I'm going to be leaving linked down below the MDN documentation for the international date time format constructor. So you can, of course, read through all the options and find a style which suits your own scenario. Or like I said, you can just press control space and look through everything, have a play and find something that you like. Doing things like this is the best way to learn. So that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.